Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to create a quiz, uh, uh, you know, functionality in our WordPress website. For this specific video, I'll be using Forminator uh, quiz plugin to show you how exactly we can do that. So I'll just uh, go to the plugin, pl plugins, add new, install. So the plugin is currently getting installed, and uh, I'll just activate this plugin. Once uh, this uh, plugin has been activated, we can just scroll down to this specific link. Okay, it says Forminator, and here we'll go to quizzes. So basically, you can also conduct polls, forms uh, uh, using uh, this plugin. But uh, since uh, the agenda of this video is to create quiz using uh, on WordPress, we will be creating quizzes. So I'll just go to the quiz tab. Once we are here, we can uh, click on the create option. Alternatively, you can also import. So let's say, for example, if you have already used this plugin on some other web WordPress website, you can easily click on import and you can just uh, paste the imported code, exported code from that website in here. So in our case, since uh, we don't have anything like that, we'll just click on create. I'll just uh, name this quiz as uh, testing your knowledge. Now here, uh, this plugin provides an interesting uh, uh, type of quiz as well. So one is knowledge quiz, where it will tell you the correct and the wrong answers. And second is personality quiz also. So the difference between the knowledge quiz and the personality quiz is that personality quiz will have no wrong answers. So depending on the answers that you choose in the personality quiz, you will be given the output, uh, uh, you know, based on the options that you have selected. So let's say, for example, if uh, you want to see what is your personality type, you can uh, select the personality quiz and maybe you can give four options. What would you do on a weekend? So you will say you'll go out, spend time with friends, you'll read books, maybe you'll watch television, you will play video games. Now, based on these four options, depending on the options that you choose, your personality type will be, uh, you know, outputted in the final result. So this is interesting. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of uh, something which you can play with your students and you can ask them what type of personality they have. So it is something entertaining that you can add to your website as well. For the purpose of this uh, uh, video, we will be sticking to the knowledge quiz. So I'll just click on knowledge quiz and uh, click on continue. Now there are two options, uh, no pagination, pagination uh, paginated quiz. So paginated means uh, you will have a set of questions in different pages. Now you don't, the user will have to click on next after selecting the option to go to the next question. So here you can decide how many questions do you want per page. If you don't want to keep that complicated, you can keep as no pagination, uh, which will do in the case of this demo. Collect leads. Uh, do you want to collect uh, leads? If you switch this on, will automatically create a default lead form for you the lead generation form uses the form module so basically the good part about this specific quiz is you can collect the data of the users and uh, uh, after that they will be able to take the quiz so if you are uh, you know uh, trying to get some leads uh, for your students uh, you can use this functionality as well so you can then later on reach them out as well i'll just click on uh, create quiz Now here, uh, there's an intro of the quiz. So basically, uh, you can uh, give some introduction. Uh, so for example, um, how good is your GK? We can write that. You can have a featured image uploaded as well. Okay, and then you can have a description also where you can format it as you want and you can also include some links to it as well. There's no option to update any image here. So let's say if you want to add an image uh, banner or something you can do it with the text and uh, here you will have to you know use the image tag of html so basically if you're not familiar with it it's uh, very easy uh, you can uh, you know just uh, write image source and the source will have your image link 
so let me just uh, open one of uh, the images uh, from this website uh, let me see if I am able to get any of these uh, images any dummy images will do okay let me just type in stock image uh, and uh, here we have okay so here we go so let's say for example if i want to Im insert an image i'll write image source and the link of the image and then i'll go back to visual and the image will come up here you'll require to do some set of uh, some settings uh, to make sure the image is not too big okay so basically once your image is there what you can do is you can drag it from the corners and make it small again this is not the best uh, resolution of the image maybe it's always uh, preferred to have a rectangular image which will come here which will look much better so this is just in case don't let uh, uh, image uh, uh, there's no option to upload an image don't let uh, that hinder your uh, goal you can always add the image using the html tag here okay so i'll just uh, remove this image we don't want to add that right now i'll just write this is a demo quiz and uh, we can just make it bold that should work okay uh, next I can just go to the questions I'll just click on save and save draft okay so that we don't lose any of our pro progress then we'll go to the questions add questions okay what is the capital of India here if you want to upload the image you can do that you can give some description you can add the answers uh, Mumbai then we can have one more option Delhi correct answer I'll select correct answer as well and we can have one more as Bangalore okay so basically this is gonna be it I'll just click on add question so question has been added we can add one more question okay what is okay or maybe who is the PM of India description images can be added okay I'll just write uh, Narendra Modi this is the correct answer I'll add one more Rahul Gandhi okay and uh, maybe one more Sonia Gandhi okay I'll just add this question as well so we have got two questions added uh, let's uh, save draft and let's go to the next option next option is for the leads okay beginning of the quiz before showing the result so basically there are two options which are available when do you want the lead form uh, to be uh, shown to the user before the quiz starts or do you want it before the results are shown so you can uh, you can do it before the results are sh shown if you are very sure that the users are going to fill up that details uh, before uh, seeing the results um, there are chances uh, that uh, they may not uh, want to see the results also so you can keep it be before uh, the quiz uh, starts but there is uh, both of them uh, there is a slight element of risk uh, risk because before uh, uh, the quiz begins uh, they may not submit their information and after uh, uh, ending the quiz they may uh, see all the questions uh, which are there and uh, you know they may not want to see the results so they may not uh, fill up their information so uh, you can you can decide based on that I would suggest you can have few quizzes where uh, uh, you can uh, uh, show it at the beginning of the of the quiz and in few quizzes uh, just before you show the results okay skip form uh, I would suggest not to enable that because most of the people will skip in that case next is appearance uh, how do you want it to be looked options uh, unchecked check options so colors uh, is there so default flat material so 
what options do you want to select you can select that okay answers how do you how do you want the answers to be uh, visible do you want it to be in a list layout or a grid layout okay grid then how many columns uh, so maybe three columns okay question description image uh, how do you want it to go so this is something which you can uh, customize if you know some css you can enable custom css also and uh, make the changes uh, to the quiz plugin based on that okay next is uh, I, i'll just save it as draft again and next is behavior we'll just click on behavior so no pagination that is something which we started in the if we want pagination how many questions do we want per page so you can keep it one um, then what do you want to name the previous and the next buttons as show page indicator if you want to if you want to display which page the user is on you can do that correct it was uh, dish dish answer wrong it was this this you got so many marks out of the total marks okay so basically you can enable social share as well on facebook twitter uh, wherever you want you can do that you can uh, select that as well and then there is a loading uh, quiz and all uh, which you can select uh, next uh, tab is notification tab uh, notification uh, you would uh, want it to send it uh, to the admin uh, so you can have this uh, admin notification participant email so whatever email he is putting will get a notification if you want to add more notification you can do that as well and you can create custom notifications that is email recipients advanced conditions uh, so based on that you can do that what will be your email who will be the recipient of it advanced options will be there from name from email etc and then you can have a condition also you can add a, a condition add a rule is correct then you will be sending an email if it's incorrect then you will be sending the email so depending on that you can uh, select conditions also this is really good feature not many plugins are providing this uh, feature as well so uh, you can you can use uh, this uh, specific feature as well there's an option of integration uh, you are not connected to any third party apps you can connect uh, with them so basically if you want to do some third party integration as well you can do that let's let's just see what are the options which are available for the integration so we have got zapier mailchimp google sheets so google sheets is a good option you can connect your application with uh, google sheets as well so i'm assuming that all the data will be saved in all these uh, uh, third party integration tools which are available then we have got settings uh, so store the submission data yes if you uncheck this the data will not be saved but i recommend you should store the data because uh, in case you want to retrieve the data of the people then you can do that easily okay great let's uh, just publish uh, this quiz so uh, the quiz is getting published this is uh, the short code we'll just copy this short code and uh, we will put it in some privately published page okay i'll just uh, name it testing visibility i will change to password protected password i'll keep on to 3 and uh, i'll just copy the short code here i'll just publish it and we can view the page how exactly it's looking so since it's a password protected page we'll have to enter the password one two three here how good is your gk start quiz okay what is the capital of india so basically it's coming in one line so we can change the appearance as well so appearance uh, we'll keep it default only and we'll keep a list view only and we'll keep it left aligned only and uh, let's let's just update this 
okay it's asking me to start the quiz again oops okay okay now we can see this looks much better than uh, the other one okay view results please provide your contact information so basically we'll will require to provide that okay i agree to the privacy in terms and condition submit and here we can see the this thing you got one by two so and there's an option of sharing as well so i just click on facebook this result will be shared on facebook as code this this is in this specific gk quiz so this is uh, this is uh, overall it is a um, good plugin you know I'll, I'll recommend you if you want to you know collect data of the students and all you can start using this plugin and uh, I, I didn't see any downside per se for a free version it really has a good number of features that's all from my end uh, please uh, comment out if you require more such videos or if you need any help on any of the wordpress task we will be happy to do one more video for you guys in if you're stuck with any of these points thanks thanks for watching